Like every four-wheel driver, I reckon I've got a list about a mile long of things that I want to do to my old 60 series, but at the top of that list is a much needed and massive suspension upgrade. So we've come down to Tough Dog Suspension today so that we can improve the safety of this vehicle. We're going to increase the ride height and improve the way the vehicle handles and articulates when it goes off-road. It's also going to really make a difference to safety when he's cornering on the open road. Everything in this vehicle is totally shagged. Shackle rubbers, the original shock absorbers at 300,000 Ks, they're still in here. So Simon, what are we going to do about this vehicle? What we're going to do, mate, is we've uh, ascertained that the whole suspension needs replacing. Uh, we're going to have a, go, have a chat to Rick now and find out what he's going to be carrying in the old bus, whether it needs a bull bar comparison spring or a, a rear bar spring. Um, so let's go and have a chat to Rick now and sort out what spring rates we need, what shock absorber choice he'd like to run with, and get these things fitted up today. A quick tip, when you're working on an old vehicle, the nuts and bolts will often be really tight. So a quick spray with WD-40, let it soak in for a little while, and then get your breaker bar on there, and you'll find that they come off a lot easier. It's time to get the springs and shocks out of this thing and give her a whole new lease of life. So let's go do that, eh? There's two types of bushes that we tend to use in the four-wheel drive industry for our suspension. There's a rubber bush and then there's a polyurethane bush. Now it's really important we use the right type of grease for each bush. With the rubber bush, we would use a rubber-based grease. On this suspension, we're going to use the polyurethane bush so that we can get a nice life cycle out of them. So I'm using this grease here, which is a high-pressure grease. Grease her up, make her all slippery and slimy, and slap her in there. You can't have can't really have too much grease. And the reason we don't use a rubber grease on the polyurethane bushes is because the rubber grease would deteriorate the bush fairly quickly. When fitting a new suspension system, it's well worth putting in new U-bolts. The reason is the old U-bolts have probably stretched over time and they're probably not going to be long enough either. So a new set of U-bolts is going to solve a lot of problems. The rear suspension's all fitted in, except for one really important point, and that is the tightening up of the front and rear shackle rubbers. Now we're going to do this when the weight of the vehicle is on the new suspension. And this will stop any tearing of those bushes, and that can cause a premature failure of the bush. Here at Tough Dog, the boys make a variety of different steering dampeners for different applications and different needs. Now my 60 is definitely in need of an upgrade in terms of the steering damper. It's still running the factory unit that's nearly 30 years old. Now because we're going to be fitting larger tyres, what I'm going to do is upgrade to the EXT unit. That's perfect for the 60. It's going to control the wheel oscillations, get rid of that shimmy, and it's going to make it nicer to drive once those big muddies are on. That's come up four inches. Now the reason it's come up four inches is because it's two inches above standard factory height. The vehicle being 27 years old, the suspension had already sagged two inches. I reckon Rick's going to be pretty pleased with the ride now. Well there's not much left to do now other than to enjoy the improved ride quality, the handling and of course the extra clearance the old bus has now got. Not to mention the extra safety. Now in about a month's time or 500 kilometres Rick's going to bring the vehicle back, get all the bolts and everything retensioned so that nothing comes loose. That's right. Now if you'd like to know anything more about the suspension we fitted today, make sure you head to our Facebook page. You'll see all the specific details there, even the part numbers we've used. And if you want to find out where your local Tough Dog dealer is, go to toughdog.com.au. Stay safe on the trails.